I'm Russ Eisenstein. He's Rob Cornelius. Ryan Boyne joins us as well. Our recaps are supported by the Athens County Convention and Visitors Bureau. Guys, bottom line, the stat sheet tells a lot of this story. 496 yards for Ohio to 232 for the Jayhawks. 46 minutes of possession for the Cats to not that much for KU. This was a dominant muscle flexing victory. Yeah, you doubled them up on yards, you tripled them up on time of possession, and you really ran them into the ground. You ran them out of their base defense from a nickel into a 3-4 and pretty much controlled that first half, held on for the win. And even though Ohio didn't get a touchdown in the second half, there was a 10-minute drive there, Ryan, where Ohio really asserted some strength to be able to grind it out and get the field goal that eventually was able to be enough to win the game. Yeah, you go 18 plays, 81 yards in that drive, and that was kind of the sealer of this victory. And then right after that, the Ohio defense steps right up to Terrell Basham breaks a record for his sacks, and uh, just all around, you get an interception in that drive. It was a, a tremendous fourth quarter from Ohio. The other part about it, too, that you normally don't see on the road against a Power 5 conference school is a lot of gifts and a lot of mistakes by the home team. Kansas had a lot of special teams issues, a bobble on a snap and a punt, and then two botched punts, and Ohio was able to turn that into points. Yeah, really, you mentioned those three punt plays really cost them points. True, they came out and got you on one 99-yard kick return, but big picture, you kept the Gonzalez kid mostly off the scoreboard, and that meant a win for Ohio. Ohio was on top at halftime, 25 to nothing, was able to outdo uh, them in the second half from time of possession and for other stats, too. And so, all in all, it was one that was painted green and white in Lawrence, Kansas. Here's how it looked and sounded. Bobcats left hash at the 36. First drive of the ball game. Fake the toss left. Windham will run right up the middle. 45-50 across the Jayhawk middle of the field. With speed, they're catching up. 15 pulled down from behind. At the 14, Greg Windham with a beautiful fake. It's a snap. He will hand off on a jet sweep coming around left side. It's Poppy White turns the corner by the pylon. In six for the Cats. Touchdown, Ohio. Drive one and a great one. Out by South Bend. This is his sixth punt of the season. It's a line drive end over end kick that will hit inside the 10. It will take a hop inside the five. Got down there to be able to down it. One of the Bobcats gunners made the play. I think it was Kylan Nelson. They pass from their own end zone. He takes a snap, handoff Kinner. He's hitting the backfield, dropped in the end zone. It's a safety. Ohio eight. Kansas nothing. Chad Moore got there first to knock down Kinner. And all. Tight end left, snap back. Wyndham will fire over the middle. It is bobbled and caught across midfield, middle of the field. Down is Belak inside Kansas territory. They actually get a big crowd here, about 30,000 now. Wyndham spins away from pressure, will run to the left side. Kansas trying to get there, can't. Got a first down out of bounds at the 33. Ball on the north side, 22, and it is a handoff running right through. Dory at the corner, turned the corner, steps through a tackle inside the thing inside the one. Ohio trying to pop those bulbs even more. Play fake, rolling right, passes caught to the five, into the end zone against tacklers across the pylon. Touchdown, Ohio. Mason Morgan on the drag to the right corner. Wyndham waits for the snap, claps his hands, takes the snap, and it's a handoff running left. First down through a tackle, 25-30. On the run, near sideline, 35-40, 45 midfield. Kansas catches up and down inside the 45, down to the 41. Dorian Brown with a couple of big runs. That to move the sticks. Wyndham's out of the shotgun, two wide left, wide out to the right, and it's an option to the right. Wyndham through tackles, 15, near side, 10, 5, and to the house. Touchdown, Ohio, six for the Cats. Wyndham was angling nor towards the near pylon, had to leap around traffic. Two, Ohio on top, 22 nothing. First and 10, ball at the 37, through a whole left side. Malik Irons broke into the second level, through a tackle, dragged down left sideline, and down at the 14. Quiv Gonzalez takes it on the right sideline, or rather right hash at the two. Runs into traffic, through traffic, 35-40, he is gone. Dance towards the left hash. Ohio will chase, but not catch him. Quiv Gonzalez just took for the first Jayhawk score of the day. Quiv Gonzalez will take at the 25. Bob of the ball. Ball's loose and Ohio's on it. Inside the 25. Down at the 24. Left hash. Minimal wind here. Snap back. Placement down. Kick up. And he uh, got it. And Ohio's on top 28 to 7. They have moved on to more interesting options.
Back to pass, Kozar throws deep, middle of the field. Man out there, caught. It's going to be a touchdown for Kansas. Steven Sims caught it at the 25. Race pack of coverage and into the north side house. Six for Kansas. And so 20 seconds into half two, Kansas does throw a punch. Cedar Hill, Texas took a kickoff return back for six earlier today. Michael Farkas gets the kick away, and the punt spirals towards Gonzalez, and he dropped the ball through his hands, runs back. Kansas and Ohio fight for it back at the 10-yard wow. line, and who's on it? Ohio's on it again. How does that happen twice in a ball game? I'd like to say so, but I don't think so. Louis Zervis on for a field goal try, and he uh, got it. And back to pass is Cozart. Lob to the left side in double coverage, and the pass is juggled and caught. Touchdown, Kansas. Steven Sims. Bruce, who is their backup punter, bobbled the snap, races back, picks it up, and the punt is away. It is caught by Ohio at the 29 yard line. Then Quinton Poling's face mask got ripped off. Flags fly. He is at the 28. Snap back, pulled up. The kick's away. It is twisting, it's turning, and it is good. He got it from 46. Just beyond the 30, inside the 30 at the 29. Wyndham takes a snap, pump fake, pulls it down, runs to the right side, got to the edge, got a block, turn the corner, 20, 15, slips down near the far sideline. Ball on the north side of the field at the 12. Wyndham will hand off Brown, through a hole to the right side, stiff arm to the five, drives forward inside the two, down to the one. High schooler from Florida. This is a 22-yard field goal attempt. Between the hashes, minimal win. Snap back, placement down, kick through, and good. And Ohio's on 6-4, 2-15. Out of the shotgun now with four wide receivers. 2.30 to go, rolling clock. Back to pass, hit as he throws, throws left side, incomplete. Quinton Poling knocked him down and then helped him up. The KU 45, Ohio rushes four. Pocket breaks, Willis in trouble. Grab from the backside, spun down, quarterback sack. Terrell Basham on the QB sack, and that's the record setter. He's the all-time sacks king in Ohio history, and that could finish off KU with two. Ohio has traveled to Lawrence, Kansas, and they have clipped the Kansas Jayhawks. And finally, the knee goes down, and triple zeros. We paint this green and white. Ohio 37, Kansas 21. The Bobcats are one and one to start off 2016. So now it's on to Knoxville, Tennessee to take on the Volunteers. And uh, that looks a lot better now when you're one and one. So the gloom of last week, gone with a dominant win over KU. You no, know, you really solved here. You came out here not only won, but you won in a pretty dominant fashion in all, in all those facets. And you go into Tennessee, and look at the last time Ohio went to Tennessee. They weren't yeah, yeah. scared, yeah. played strong, was in that game well into the third quarter. This is not a game where you're going to go in there and get blown out of the place. And in a lot of senses, with the exception of eye-popping touchdown numbers, we saw a lot of what we thought we might see from the Bobcats, a very good defense and an offense that could gain yards and score some points. Yeah, and I think the best thing right now is the fact that Ohio is doing things on offense that are sustaining long drives. You had more than 300 yards rushing. Frank Stolich is going to take that every single game if he can get it over 500 yards. Well. They took a couple of knees at the end, so a little less than 500, but before that, about 500 yards this week and last week. And, and the defense, yeah, they stepped up. They had a good, they did a good job in the secondary for the most part. There were a couple of long touchdown scores for Kansas, but other than that, the rushing uh, attack was totally stifled. The secondary did its part, and Ohio looked good overall. And in perspective, this was a, a winnable game on the schedule against a team that was picked last in the Big 12. For where Ohio's program is at, you should expect to win ball games like this. Expectations don't always turn to reality, but they did today. The third Power 5 conference win for Frank Solich, Rob, and you've been around all of them, Illinois in 2006, Penn State 2012, and this one. It's a good uh, brick in, in the program's resume. And it's important. After playing what I think the fans and players both consider bogey golf last week, mm -hmm. this gets you back on pace for the kind of season you you want to have and Frank Solich happy where this team's going. Talked to him about Greg Windham when I caught him in the post. Said Greg had a fantastic first half, pressed a little in the second, but he's showing why he earned that spot, deserves that spot, and is really playing. Can be a really good Matt quarterback. I will see you and I will see you in Knoxville, Tennessee coming up on Saturday as Ohio has week three against the Volunteers. Don't forget, we're on the air from Neyland Stadium on Thursday night on many stations on our radio network with Bobcat Road Trip Live, six to seven o'clock from Neyland Stadium. Going to be pretty cool doing radio in a 1,005 person room that is completely empty with the exception of us. It should be a lot of fun. Our post game reports are supported by the Athens County Convention and Visitors Bureau. Thanks to Jason Chipino and Derek Mishiro for their good work. Now for Ryan Boyd and for Rob Cornelius, I'm Russ Eisenstein. So long from Kansas, paint it green and white. This is Bobcat TV.